basically try to get in some semblance of shape right. if we give you an extra week to do mm-hmm. so, right? Right. I, I'm going to guess, I'm, just my educated sort of gut feeling guess is I, I'll bet he's in really good shape. Obviously, he's not in football shape. He hasn't played in well, that, three but, years. But Skip, that's my point. Yeah. Right? That's my point. What do you, you get it, you, okay, if you're a professional athlete, you get in shape by playing the sport or practicing the sport that you play, okay. not by just going back, dropping back and throwing the ball. You need to be able to see guys move and guys with pads and duck and dodge. You haven't done that for three years. Three years. And they said, so you know what? On a Tuesday, Skip, yesterday, yeah, on a Tuesday. So it's like, Skip, it's like we having a meeting, okay? Y'all don't tell me anything about the meeting. Hey, Shannon, we got a meeting tomorrow. Yeah. Or can we make it? No, it's tomorrow. You got to be there. How do you have something, you plan something, without telling the guy no that, is, that this is going on? They didn't even tell him. They didn't even tell his representative. They call his representative and say, okay, we're going to have this thing scheduled for Colin Kaepernick on Saturday. Saturday, uh, can we push it back? No, it's easy to now or never. Come on. Tuesday to Saturday. Yes. So giving you three days notice, yes. right? Yes. And then again, to your point, at least you could hold this on a Tuesday, which is the uh, the off day for everybody. When they so, bring everybody in for okay. trial, Skip. Tuesday is the day they bring everyone in. Running back, quarterback, wide receiver, punter, whatever it is. And then occasionally you'd have the coach. Sometimes the coach would come out. Most of the time he would observe from his window. Mm-hmm. But, you know, the position okay. coach or the, the special team coach or whomever, mm-hmm. they would actually be out there organizing the drills. But, Skip, Skip, Skip you, this is like week 11. Mm-hmm. Team. By, by the way, I would even take a Friday workout over yeah. a Saturday. Yes. Because Saturday's one day from game day, which is the day. And, okay. And you know what's on my mind, Skip? That game, not working out a player. Mm-mm. The no. game, that's what's on my mind. Okay. So I'm going to give you my one silver lining to okay. this process. They say this will also include, and that Cap has signed off on, an interview. I don't get the format because if you do technically have 32 representatives of teams, right. scouts or whoever you send, who you, it's not going to be your head coach. Right. Mm-hmm. But will all 32 sit in one interview? They said they're going to tape, tape it. it. So are you going to just do a Q&A with 32 right. reps? And basically send, send the video to each, each okay. individual team. Or are you going to give each representative 10 minutes with Cap? Right. Well, I don't think that would work because that's a long day, yeah. right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to go back to my longtime friend, John Wooten, who until last year was the head of the Fritz Pollard Alliance, mm-hmm. which oversaw the Rooney Rule. Okay. And John has been a crusader. The hiring of minority coaches yes, and general yes, managers. Yes, That's what Rooney Thank you. Rule. And John has crusaded for years and years. It's been his, his reason for being mm-hmm. to open the eyes and the doors of the NFL to minority coaches mm-hmm. on all levels, minority GMs. Yes, correct. And John and I have spoken often about this. And if I go back two years ago, and I told you this on this show, Mm -hmm. John had, according to him, at least five, this is two years ago, five teams on on the verge of wanting to sign Colin, but they all needed to talk to Colin first because they just wanted to look into his eyes and hopefully into his heart Mm -hmm. and make sure that he was now recommitted to all in for being a franchise quarterback, that he didn't want to split some of his time with being a social justice crusader mm-hmm. okay. or doing whatever uh, the other work. And, and nobody seemed to have, you know, to, to my knowledge, any problem with that. They just want to know, because this is obviously the hardest position to play in all of sports. Correct. They wanted to know that now Colin, after all his protesting, he was ready to come back in 1,000% committed and driven to be a franchise quarterback. Mm-hmm. And to, to know that, you can't guess that. You you need to sit with the guy. You know, mm-hmm. like, you yeah. you know, we were to sit down and right. let's have, have an hour. Not hear from his trainer, not yeah. hear from his representative no, from you, you wanted to talk to him. How convincing would Colin be? How, how credible would he be? How, you know, would he speak with his heart? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He's a great speaker. And, and again, John was so frustrated because he couldn't get Colin to do that because Colin's reps kept telling John, we don't have to do that. We Look at what we've proven in this league. <laughs> There's a lot of pride involved yes. at that point that might not be as much involved right now. Yeah. So the silver lining is, and John and I have communicated this morning about this, oh, he's very excited that at least Colin has, has agreed, yes. okay, I will let you interview me, but I'm not sure about how efficient or productive this format is going right. to be. What do you think? Q&A with all the reps? Um, I'm sure... Th- because he had an interview, we went to Seattle, but there was no blackboard talk. They were just talking, yep. you know, what's going on, what were you thinking, the process. Yep. Baltimore, 
I don't even know if he met with Baltimore. I think they talked to uh, him on the phone. So, yeah. Um, and so this will be the first time mm-hmm. whomever shows up will have an opportunity to talk to this young man face to face. That's the only thing. I mean, what what are you going to want him to go to the blackboard? I don't know how much of that stuff he's been doing. Um, I'm sure that's one thing. That's normally what you have. For me, Skip, is he bringing his own receivers? Uh, I remember when I worked out in 1990, my quarterback in college threw me passes. That's normally what happens. Ba- uh, uh, Kyler Murray, oh, he had all his receivers. They, they you have, you have guys. guys that are you familiar with. Huh. Uh, Baker Mayfield at right. OU, he had all of his guys. So they're probably, you know, charred out 50, 60 plays. Uh, uh, but Skip, for me, I, I'm interested to see some of the questions. I'm sure the anthem, the anthem will probably be the first thing out of their mouth. Uh, yep. uh, it's hard for me to believe, a, envision a scenario mm-hmm. where that doesn't come up. Okay. So I believe that's the first thing. And then, you know, how committed are you? Uh, but for me, let, and let's... And by the way, quick question to you. If Colin, I have no idea what, what he's going to say, but but if he said, I will continue to kneel for the anthem... And that's or, probably what he would say. Okay. Um, would that be a deal breaker if you're an NFL team? For me... If it was a deal breaker to begin with, how is it, how is it a, a starter now? Yep. Hmm. That, and that's what, and see, Skip, that's what I don't get. What has changed from when he first originally took the stance to now? What has changed? What is, I mean, what, what has happened? What, I mean, is he out of sight, out of mind? I mean, what's going on here? Yep. And for me, Skip, let's just say for the sake of argument, if he doesn't get signed, does that mean he can't play? Because you know, because like, it's all subjective. Yeah. Oh, he, we saw him, but nah, we don't think he can help. That's that's a matter of opinion. Yep. And that's why Commissioner Goodell says we leave that up to the team. We'll let them decide what works best for them. True. Now, all of a sudden, they intervene. Mm-hmm. We're having this. And you tell the guy four days before you're going to have this. Mm-hmm. At what point in time were you like, well, Colin, we're thinking about having something organi- organized, say, around the 15th mm-hmm. of November, give you ample enough time, give you a month or two to get ready, get you some guys that you're going to be throwing to on a regular basis. What do you think about that? Yep. Okay, yeah, that's fine, that's fine. I'll be ready then. But to call a guy four days, Skip, <laughs> and have something of this magnitude, yep. because basically this is his career hanging in the balance. Yeah, it really is. You know what I'm saying, Skip? It's like, okay, I, I just don't I, I just don't get it. Yeah, something, this, this is make it or break it in like a two-hour session yeah. on a Saturday. Yeah. And, mm. guys, Ian Rapport did tweet this morning that the details of the tryout, it would first be the interview and then all the physical tests after, which I don't know which one is better or worse well, that, well, in terms of the on. timeline, but I think... It all determines. Like, if I don't like what you got to say, nah, we good. That's what I mean. That's a <laughs> yeah, little bit Come harder. on, Skip. So some guys are going to say, I got a flight to get Yeah. 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 I, I just, that what I needed? I, it's just an odd I, setup. Skip, what is, how does the NFL think this is going to play? Do they think people like, well, I think they're thinking at least we gave them a chance. Yeah. Mm. I just. Okay, like, so if by chance, what I believe is just a bogus sneak attack, quarterback sneak attack mm-hmm. of a quote unquote workout, does somehow encourage one representative of one team to go back to his team and say, you know what? He could help us. If that happened, I, I'm, I would bet against it. Yeah. I would be pleasantly shocked by it. But if that happens, this whole thing would be worth it. Yes. What are the odds that's going to happen? That one representative is going to say, you know what? He looks good to me. He sounds great to me. Let's take a shot. If my memory serves me correct, with the exception of the Carolina Panthers mm-hmm. owner, that has new ownership because Jerry Richardson, Mr. Okay. Richardson, was the owner at the time when this originally happened, the 31 other owners are status quo. So what would have changed in their minds from then to now that says, you know what? Yeah. Yeah, we can need him. Yeah, okay, go ahead, Neil. Do your thing over there. We, we cool with it. As long as you can help us win. What, what's changed? Mm. That nothing. Okay, so the biggest shock to me yesterday was the one random report that my team, the I Dallas Cowboys, yeah. were interested in Colin Kaepernick, that they were the, the most ready to check this out. And again... Cowboy backup is Cooper Rush, who's thrown a grand total of three passes right. in mm-hmm. real games as opposed to exhibition preseason mm-hmm. games. Right. And would Colin be better than Cooper Rush? You better believe yeah. it. Yeah. If all they did was run zone read, he would be better than Cooper he, Rush. He would be better. And so I love the concept of this. Right. But my owner was probably the staunchest. From day one. For, uh, about we will stand for the national anthem. 
We will stand at attention. Mm -hmm. This is how we do it in Dallas. He said, this is my stage. (laughs) Yeah, Yeah, all that NFL, all that's fine and good. This is Jerry Jones' stage. And we do it. Okay. I don't know, Skip. They just... Hold on. Adam Schefter is as good and Jay Glazer is as good as anybody in the business. Mm -hmm. And nobody had anything on this until yesterday. Mm -hmm. How? Man, Skip, these guys know everything. Adam Schefter gets stuff that only the NFL would know. That's a very good point. And they and nobody had anything until Tuesday for a workout that's going to happen on Saturday. So that just lets you know this thing was hush hush, and ain't nobody knew because it's like, well, we can't have anybody to know because if it gets out, Cap might start working out. It's just it's I just don't like it. I don't like it, it man. It feels stealth. Yes. Yep. You don't, <sighs> you don't have no sneak meeting. Mm-mm. Hey, man, we having a meeting. Okay, when is it? Uh, <laughs> I, we'll get back to you. Did they call you two days before? We got a meeting at 3 a.m. Yeah. in, uh, Good in luck. Kansas City. Mm. Kansas City? I'm in New York. <laughs> I think the unfortunate part is that we all sit here as skeptics because it just doesn't add up in terms of we want him to have a fair shot. Yes. We want him to be able to present what mm. he's been doing in the best light, yet yeah. it feels like a <sighs> lose-lose situation. In my 14 years, Skip, I've never seen a player come in and work out on a Saturday. I've never seen it. In 14 years, I was in Denver, for 12, I was in Baltimore for two and went back. I've never seen it. Okay. Now, I'm not saying what happened because I've only played for two teams, and so they might have guys come in and work out on Saturday. But every workout that I've ever witnessed happened on a Tuesday because I was... The only one, and this is far-fetched, but maybe a kicker workout if your kicker hurt himself right. on Thursday or sure. Friday right. where you had to do, do, have a off-the-street kicker Well, you know workout? what they would do, Skip? They would bring him in on Friday because they have to have it in. Yeah, the, they'd have to turn it into the league. So know. they'd have you're, it in. You're right. You're just right. <laughs> We're going to continue to follow everything with Cap throughout the day. Maybe we'll have some more details emerge, but yeah. right now, that's, that's all we know, and uh, this is an interesting one. But where we have to go next mm-hmm. is Skip has to respond to mm-hmm. someone who's yes, been very I special do. to mm-hmm. you lately. And that Are is Zeke's mom. Uh, he has something to say to you. So do. don't forget, now. you can check us out every single day on the Fox Sports Channel on SiriusXM. We'll be right back.